What's going on YouTube? I am recording the evolution of the LeBron sneaker line. Now, I didn't start with the 13 because that shoe was ugly as all hell. Pure trash, was not fun to play in, was not fun to wear casually. So I started with the LeBron 14. LeBron 14, stylish enough to wear, but not quite. And a good performer, but not a great performer. It started with this strap here, which was kind of useless. It looks dope, don't get me wrong. I love the box, I love everything about the shoe. And the cushion had those uh, zoom pods, so as you can see here, kind of dirty because I wore them obviously. Um, but those zoom pods here, big crash pad right here in the back. But these were a, actually a very comfortable setup for me. So I had no complaints about those. Now we go into the LeBron 15. It has the battle knit. So the materials on the 14 were kind of trash because they were fused. Nothing spectacular about them. I just like the booty, you know, the booty, the pull tabs because they were really easy to put on and the straps are just a great hoop shoe that this, this colorway had me stoked because you know, that bread colorway, red, black, and white. These had me stoked because of the black and gold, gold lace tips right there, and the little speckles of gold and the battle knit, and the battle knit, man, these joints were comfortable. The only downside that I would have on these, traction's okay, not nothing that you can see, I really didn't play in these, these are kind of a fashion model. Um, the only thing I didn't like about these was that you set up really hot, so as you can see right here, the air units and that beautiful gold swoosh on the back, backward swoosh, the pull tab and everything. I really like this shoe, it's really comfortable, it's just set, you set up really, really high. Now we take you to the LeBron 16. The battle knit is a little bit thinner and a little bit, you know, more refined. I actually really like the battle knit on these. As you can see, they can do much more with the color. They weaved it in. They have a leather tongue. Very, very dope shoe. And then when I saw this blue, like greenish, yellow, and orange, I was really stoked. And it had the same kind of cushion. But it feels a lot different, and it's got this little iridescent swoosh, man. These are dope. I haven't even worn these yet, so that's why I'm touching the bottom, no big deal. But as you can see, how the shoes have evolved, man, it, and I think they've evolved for the better, you know. And I really like the LeBron line to play in, you know. I understand it's for bigger guys, but it's pretty much made for anybody. But I wanted to do a side by side so everybody can see the differences in how the shoe is evolving in the last three years. So let me know what is your favorite LeBron out of the 14, 15, and 16 in the comment section. Talk to you guys later. Signing off.